Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dory. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on September 12th, 2016 in Hartford, Connecticut at Hartford Hospital with Dr. Darren Tischler. My highest weight was 333.5. My surgery weight was 300.5. And my current weight is, drum roll, 227.7. Um, so if you remember last week, I came at you with a very emotional video. Um, it was talking about my teeth, which I have not gotten my new teeth yet. Um, I have to go on Thursday to have the stitches removed. Um, and then we'll think about um, going from there and what we're going to do with the teeth. Um, so I will still be talking a little funny. Um, but excuse that because there's nothing I can really do about it and I just really have to live my life um, even though it feels embarrassing and it feels uh, it makes me feel insecure um, I'm just going to go forward I entertained this weekend my um, eldest daughter second born child um, out of my six graduated college so we had a small get-together um, I also had another party that we went to on Sunday. Um, it was a little get together with uh, my Bible talk from my church. Uh, that was great. I did a lot of talking. Um, although I really wanted to just shut myself out from everything and everyone, um, instead I did the opposite. I attended church on Sunday. I had attended church on Wednesday. Um, and so, you know, life has to go on. So. Anyhow, so um, excuse the teeth, excuse the, the funny talking, um, but anyways, yeah, I'm really excited about the weight loss. Um, basically, last week I had come to you, um, I'm in week 37 this week, so week 30, let's see, week 34, I had went down to 230.0, and that was a loss of about three pounds the previous week, if I remember correctly. But then from week 34 to week 35 and 6 around there is when I had my abscess infection. And so for that, um, I did some research on Google. I talked to a couple of doctors. And so I guess when you have a really major infection, you're on different antibiotics and things like that, it throws your body off. Um, it could give you a urinary tract infection from the antibiotics. It just throws off all your uh, probiotics and things like that or throws off your, your uh, pH or whatever, so you would have to get, you know, try the probiotics. Um, so I went up two pounds and I stayed up at two pounds for two weeks. Uh, so last week when I came to you with the emotional video, um, I was 232. A um, Couple days after that, I, I weighed and I had seen some loss, but today being 227.7, I lost a total of 4.3 pounds after that two pound gain um which is actually like I think it's 2.8 or something like that um if I hadn't gained the two pounds but whatever um it is what it is um it was part of my journey it was part of what I went through and whatever all I know now is I'm 227.7 which I am ecstatic. I am so excited. I'm thrilled. I cannot wait to see uh, the number 220. Uh, and then of course under and I'm in the teens and I'm like, I'm only 30 pounds away from what my husband is. My husband always has weighed less than me. Um, at one point it was over 100 pounds, like 150 pounds less than me. Uh, something somewhere around there. But now he is 30 pounds less than me. He's also losing so you know, I'm playing catch up with someone who's losing as well, but um, but I'm excited to uh, to have only a 30 pound difference uh, with us. Um, I'm excited to one day uh, weigh less than him. Um, I'm very excited for what the future holds um, with the new teeth or with um, just all the different things that I feel like is in my future. I went to my son's house this past, what was it? Friday. Is it Friday or Saturday? Maybe it was Friday. And uh, I went to my son. Uh, he lives with his girlfriend and her mom. 
and she owns an amazing amount of horses, like 12 horses. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're all female, except there's one stallion named Aladdin. Um, and they're just gorgeous. And one of the things I used to do when I grew up, when I was very thin, I was extremely thin when I was a teenager and younger, um, up until I got to be about 18. Um, I had my first child, and I remember when I gave birth to him, um, I had weighed 197 and a half. Um, so that was at 18, and then that was it. I, I've never weighed less than that. Um, and I'm now 44. I'll be 45 in July. Um, so in any event, I went there. We helped. I helped feed them. Um, I'll be going at some point to help clean out their stalls and things like that, just really trying to help out. Um, and just be around them. I love them. I got video of them running, cantering. Um, when I was young, I would rent horses. Um, there was a, a place not too far from my house that rented out horses. We would rent them out for our birthdays, um, for picnics, things like that. We would ride. Um, we were fortunate to grow up in a, in a neighborhood that uh, there weren't a lot of houses built at that time. There was farmland. Uh, my family was part of uh, the farms there, and so we were fortunate to have all that room to run with the horses, and so I, I really, really miss it. And so I was able to help out, um, which is the second time that I was able to go feed them and everything, and, and um, yeah, so it was great. And so I have, you know, in the future, I want to ride um, and stuff. For me, I feel like if I weighed like 210, uh, or under that, I feel comfortable riding. I know I can ride now. I just, for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like not flexible enough to get up on the saddle and everything. I remember how to how to put on the saddles, uh, tacking the horses up. Um, you know, I loved doing all that. Um, so I'm looking forward to being able to do that this summer. Um, and then um, I'm looking forward to just all the other opportunities that are opening up. Um, I'm going to try to do a couch to 5k. Um, I don't know when I'm going to start that. I've never done one before. If any of you guys have done one before, please give me some tips on an app. Am I supposed to like, like download an app? Am I supposed to, um, I don't even know. I, don't, I have no clue. I looked it up on Google real quick this morning. Uh, they have several websites about it, um, but I really didn't have the time to really look and, and kind of see. Um, so anyhow, so I, I do feel like with the weight loss, um, I did do a couple of new things. I know a lot of you guys had went to the Portland uh, weight loss uh, conference this I think it was like two weekends ago. Yeah, not this past weekend, the one before, I believe. And so I really learned a lot from you guys, but I started following the bariatric surgeon out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. He works for Loveless um, Hospital. He is the director of bariatric surgery. His name is Dr. Duck Von, Vong. So it's D-U-C, and his last name is V-N-O-N-G, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. No, it's V-U-O-N-G. Um, so anyhow, so I started following him and I wasn't able to go to the Portland weight loss seminar uh, conference thing. I really wanted to. I just, I couldn't. My kids are young. I have four little kids. Uh, one just turned nine and the rest are under that. Um, and just to take off and, and have to spend the money and, and be gone and stuff just wasn't, wasn't for me. Um, next year, I would love to to go to some conferences. I would love to learn more and meet all of you guys. Um, I really enjoy that. Um, but anyhow, so I've just been watching this doctor. I have been watching all his podcasts. He has hundreds and hundreds of podcasts. And so basically he had one that really struck me the other day. And it was, um, he listed in, in, uh, on a board, the good protein, the so-so protein and the bad protein. And so I've always been taught like to eat bacon and steak and ground beef and chicken and you know things like that um, for my main source of protein. Um, I also still drink the Premier Protein shakes, especially now that I you know had the whole surgery on my mouth. I've been eating more of the um, shakes and soft foods, of course. Um, but he made some great points, and I really never thought of it but chicken is in the so-so category 
And in the bad category is like steak and ground beef and all that and pork. Um, those are things I eat like on a regular basis and I try to get extra of because of the protein. And so he made a point that if you really don't know where it's coming from, like if you're not able to buy grass fed, farm raised or whatever meats and organic and all that and, and you know there's any kind of pesticides or hormones or whatever inside, um, you should not eat it. Um, chicken, there's just too much ifs about chicken, the way that they're raised, the way that they're hurt, whatever, whatever it is. But, um, but in the good category was like things that I had gotten away from the last couple months, which is probably why I kind of stalled, um, beside the infection two pounds, I had kind of been stalled only instead of losing 10 pounds a month, it was like four or five pounds a month. And so I had gotten away from like nuts and beans. Um, and he also said like not to eat dairy. Um, I used to eat a lot of dairy lately. I have not had a lot of dairy. He doesn't even like want people to eat, um, yogurt, um, and things like that, which I have an occasional yogurt. That's not a big deal. Um, but in the good category, he had things like lentils, quinoa, um, fish, tons of fish. Now I love fish. I could live on seafood for the rest of my life. I could, you know, that I just love fish. And so I'm going to start eating a lot of fish. I'm going to start eating um, beans. I started again with the refried, fat-free refried beans that I was on uh, pre-op. I put a little bit of cheese on it. I put it in the microwave. It's delicious. I have it for lunch. It's like 190 calories for a half a cup with the cheese. Uh, it's good, good source of uh, carbs, and it's also a good source of protein and, and stuff like that. So, I think that part of this weight loss is, you know, of course the infection is gone. I finished my my amoxicillin and all that, um, but I think it's from going back to those basics: fish and and um, the beans and um, vegetables for the carbs for the good carbs. Um, I even had at my daughter's party, I had a tortilla and I don't eat bread and I don't eat pasta and all that, but this tortilla was not a lot of calories. It wasn't a huge amount of carbs. I enjoyed it. I had probably half a one and it just shows that if you pick your carbs right um, and you eat just a little bit that you're not going to defeat yourself. You're not going to uh, just be uh, gaining weight and going crazy. I know a lot of people are like, I'm, you know, I'm going to keep it under 20 carbs and I'm going to have, you know, my fat under, you know, 30 car, uh, 30 grams rather. And I'm going to, um, you know, keep my, my, um, calories under a thousand and they're wondering why they're gaining weight. That's why you're gaining weight. You're gaining weight because you don't have enough calories. There are people who get, you know, I get about 800 calories of exercise taken off every day. I don't go and eat those calories though. I want to make that clear. I don't have, you know, 1200 calories in my fitness pal that I'm allowed and eat, you know, 1200 and then I get 800 and it tells me that I should eat 800 more. I don't go and eat 800 more. If my, if I'm getting 800 and something, uh, calories burned per day, um, with working out or whatever, um, I might eat 1,300 calories. So I'm only over 100 what I normally would eat. Um, sometimes I eat 1,150. Sometimes I eat 1,100. I don't ever go under 1,000. Um, right there, I know I'm in trouble. If I go under 1,000 calories, I just know that I'm going to retain weight. Um, I also make sure that I'm drinking 100 ounces of water a day, at least 100. Um, it's really hard. It was hard when I couldn't sip through a straw the first couple days after surgery. Um, but now I'm fine with a straw. I'm getting in my ounces of water. Um, I have a 32 ounce uh, cooler, which they're on sale now at Costco. There's a two pack of them. Um, I don't know if they're 30 or 32. I got mine at Bed Bath & Beyond, but they have a two pack right now at Costco for $14.99. Um, I just saw it. It's $5 off the normal price. Um, but I just saw it when I went in the other day and it's from, um, I want to say the company is Recycle, Re, Reuse. I think it's Reuse is the uh, company. But in any event, it's on sale this week at Costco if you want to go grab a couple of those. 
that's how I get my water and it keeps it ice cold all day. Um, it's really uh, helping me a lot. I can tell that I'm getting smaller even in my sizes. I've been um, wearing LuLaRoe clothing uh, for a little while and um, the tall and curvy now, which is size 12 to 24, it's baggy on me, some of them. So um, I can tell that I'm losing the inches. I can tell that I'm losing the inches in my behind because it hurts when I sit for a long period of time. Um, I'm also getting colder, like we had a couple of, um, I live in uh, Western Massachusetts and we don't have a lot of days of heat um, early on, but we did have a heat wave uh, a couple weeks ago and we had, you know, upper 80s, we had over 90s for several days and I actually didn't put my air conditioners on until it was over 90, till it was almost like 95. Um, because of losing the fat, um, I am cold all the time. I know you guys can relate to me because I see it on Facebook, I see it on Instagram, I see it on YouTube. You guys are cold just like me. It's because we're losing our insulation, which is great for me. I hated sweating. I rarely sweat now unless I'm exercising. I don't usually sweat. Um, yeah, unless I'm exercising or running or, or doing something quick, uh, I'll work up a little bit of a sweat, but it's not like it was before. I could be sitting here um, pre-surgery and I would I would have this this DVD here I would I would be you know so hot because of having um, the extra insulation so I'm excited that I don't have that anymore um, and yeah I feel good I feel uh, that I'm getting there it's definitely a journey it's not happening overnight I'm a slow loser but I'm okay with that I'm not worried about um, you know, I'm going in the right direction. The scale is moving. If it moves only a pound a week, that's a pound a week. Um, you know, I've been, been, you know, I'm up to week 37. Um, so I've been doing this for a little while. Uh, I've lost a total of 105.4 pounds, I believe it was, um, from my highest, which is incredible. 105 pounds, that's crazy. That's about what my mother weighs. My mother is very small and she weighs about 105 pounds. So I lost my mom. Like I can't even imagine even giving her a piggyback ride. Um, even though she's small, I that's 105 pounds. Um, so I'm excited. However, it's going to uh, take however long. Um, I'm just in it for uh, the journey. I'm in it to win it. Um, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to keep it off. Uh, there's too much life to live out there. I feel like there is so much life. There's a whole nother life I haven't even experienced. And I really only have one regret and that is not doing it sooner. I wish I would have done it when I was 24 instead of 44. But you know what? I did it. It's done. It's, it's, um, you know, I'm doing well and, and that's fine. So, um, yeah, so that's about it. I don't really have, um, I don't think anything else, uh, any other updates, um, NSVs I had when I went to my daughter's graduation, I just walked right up into the balcony section, sat on a chair, uh, my hips, my sides didn't rub on the arm thing of the chair, um, you know, walking through places, um, walking around uh, places, I never feel tired, I never feel winded, um, yeah, so... That's really it. That's my week 37 update. If you guys have any um, any questions, that would be great. I'd love to get questions or comments or, or anything. Also, too, if you guys can subscribe, uh, just hit the subscribe button down there. I don't know if it's on the left or the right. I want to say it's probably on the... You're looking at me straight, so it would be on your right, the subscribe button. And I would love to have more subscribers following my journey. Um, more questions, more comments, things like that would help me um, really just keep on track and, and just encourage me. So I'm really thankful for all of you. Thank you guys so much for posting so many things about the uh, Portland uh, weight loss seminar uh, for in the weight loss community. Um, I really appreciate it. So that's it for now. Um, I hope by next week, I probably won't have uh, uh, any too much difference, but I hope that I do have sort of a difference next week that I can talk about. So until then, have a good day.